as the Cats prepare for yet another final series, I'm sure they'd love to have our next guest fit and who's, firing. Who's Please your... welcome John Ruckman, Hamish McIntosh. Yeah. Yeah. Hamish, welcome back to Mangrook. And uh, it must be pretty frustrating for you because you've gone to a new club and you haven't been able to put on the boots and get out and play a game yet. Yeah, it has been incredibly frustrating. Um, look, I had a, a great time at North Melbourne, but... It, I saw a great chance to come to Geelong and a great opportunity and um, to come down there and to play with some great players and I felt like we could have a, a really big year, which we're having, and uh, it's been incredibly frustrating to think I actually haven't played a game of footy all year and, um, and not be out there, to, especially when you're at a new club and you're really trying to prove yourself and you know, earn the respect of the guys and the best way to do that is out in the footy field. So, no, it's been a pretty tough year, um, definitely, and um, I'm just trying to do everything I can now to support the boys and... Hope they go a long way in September and, and win the Premiership. Can I ask you, what's the major difference between the North Melbourne Football Club and going down to Geelong? What sort of um, structure? Is it facilities? Is it money? Is it players? There's a lot of similarities with, it, with the culture. I think there's some, some really great people that, that run the footy club and you know, behind the scenes, the, you know, the, the trainers and those guys that really build the footy club. But I guess the biggest difference I notice is, I guess you come down to Geelong and have been so successful over the last six or seven years, they've developed a really good winning culture and a successful culture, and you can see that's how they, they are around the footy club, and they demand success from each other, demand the best from each other, and if they don't get that, they quickly pull, uh, pull the other guys into the line. So it's a, it's a really, it's a great culture, it's a great footy club, and it's kind of like you're playing at a country footy club at times. It's pretty relaxed, but really professional at the same time. I've got to ask you, is there a difference between the coaches? <laughs> well, obviously they look the same. But, um, <laughs> it's like Darjean yeah. <laughs> Oh, mate, I've, uh, I was a little bit nervous at the start to make sure I didn't get the names wrong. But um, <laughs> no, look, there, there's a little bit of differences, but I must admit um, the, the main fundamentals of them actually knowing the game and how they know the footy games is unbelievable. They're both incredibly smart. And um, yes, yeah, some differences, but um, no, obviously not, uh, not too many to, to write home about. Hey, Hamish, good to catch up with you. It's always good to catch up with you. I heard that Chris was ringing Brad and was telling him to stop calling him, calling him Brad all the time. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, look, no, on a seriously, I know you've had a lot of injuries. Um, you've got two years to go on your contract, next year and the year after. Uh, the club's going well. Um, I know you're just coming back from injuries and you, you're probably, you know, the next five or six weeks you're going to be OK. I don't know, I don't know what's, what's going to be happening in the finals. I don't know if you'll get in the side, but oh, the, thing, the, coach, the thing eh? about you, the thing about you is... You've got to look at that as a positive for next year. And when everyone else goes and has their pre-seasons and does this and does that, Hamish McIntosh will be out there training and getting ready for the start of next year. You'll be cherry right for next year, oh, won't you? Well yeah, well, that's, uh, that's the aim. Let's hope so. So, look, yeah. obviously I'm incredibly frustrated that it, and shattered to think I won't be playing in a final series because that's what I came down here to, to play at. You know, that's what, that's what every player dreams of doing. But, um, yeah, the positives are that now I'm, I'm getting a lot of work in, I'm getting a lot of training and I'm getting my body right that... I'll be able to hit, it, hit the off-season with my body feeling 100% and, as I said, get a head start on, on the next pre-season and hopefully flying into a, a good year next year in 2014.